In this video, I'm going to go over user-defined functions in C. So, first off, what do we know about functions from math? Well, a function in math is so, like usually like something like y equals x squared. And whatever you put into x, you square it and you get y. So this this is the same as like function of x, f of x equals x squared. This, this is the same y equals f of x. So if x, you know, equals x equals 2, then y is going to equal 2 squared, which is just 4. So y equals 4. So this is this is more of your your input. So this would be your input. I'm going to input 2 and y is going to equal whatever I inputted times whatever I want to do to it. You know, I I could say y equals x cubed plus 6 and then divide this whole thing by 2. And if I wanted to say make uh x equal to 1. Well then y is going to equal x cubed, so that's just going to be 1. So 1 plus 6 divided by 2. And so that's going to be 7 over 2, or you know 3.5. So again, this was my input, and this is my output. And that, that's all a function is. A function is where I, I take an input, I change it around a little, like this would be the formula, and I get the output. So let's look at an example program here for one second. Okay, so in this program, this is my function. And this is where I've defined what a function does. And right here, is where I've called the function. And I'll explain what this means in a second. Called the function. So to begin, we have to tell the, the computer, you know, the compiler, that we have a function that we want to use. So we, we have to declare this with a what's called a function prototype. Function prototype. It's a cool word, prototype. Okay, so what this is called here, this this thing here, is the function prototype. And so what is a function prototype? Well, let's imagine that this is you, and you want to go to a store. Let's say this is the cashier. There's a cash register. say he's like not, not unhappy or something like that and you go to the store and you're like I want to buy a skateboard there's that that's, that's the skateboard you want to buy and you're willing to pay ten dollars for this skateboard then this is a lot like saying to this function what this means I'll just rewrite it here int Scott's function So what this is saying is like, basically, if we break this down, this integer is what you want. What you want. And this, right here, is what you're willing to give the function. you give the function. So this is like saying I want a skateboard or like you want an integer and you're willing to give it you want to give ten dollars for the skateboard you're willing to give it an integer. So you're saying that I want to input an integer and I want to get out an integer. It's like saying I want to input ten dollars and take a skateboard. So you know this is a lot like we go back down here. Y equals y equals x squared because you know you give it a number, let's say one, and y is your output. So you want to you give it a one, and you square it, and then it will be your y. Well, y equal will equal one in this case, but if we gave it two, you know it would equal four. So you're willing to give it a number, and in return you want a number back, but it has to do something with it. So that's like saying here, you know, if you're at a store. 
give the ten dollars you want to skateboard just like in this function prototype this is what you want out and this is what you give the function and so this is just kind of saying like this this function prototype doesn't define what it does it it does not tell does not say what the function does you know so this is like saying when you write this here you're saying like hey computer get ready because i'm about to like tell you what this function will do and like prepare yourself and so down here is where you write what this function will do so in this case this function will take an integer it will return an integer remember that's what you wanted and what you're willing to give it and that when it takes this number here it will take it and it will call it num it will call it integer num and then it will take num and times it by itself so number will equal num times num now this is a lot like remember this is almost this is the exact same thing as y equals x squared this is just a very simple function so if i take y let's say let's say i take y as my integer int this int here will equal y then i'm taking this y whatever i put in here will equal x squared if that makes sense. So I'm taking a number in here, this number here, and I'm squaring it, and then I'm returning the squared version. So I take a number, and then you're here, you square it, and then right here, what this return number means, means I'll give back that's a G. Give back number squared. And that, that's it. So basically, what this program will do is I've told the computer, like, hey, here's a function that I'm going to do. And then underneath, this is int main void, so you just kind of like, underneath, you write what, what you want back. So you want an integer. You write what you're willing to give it. And then this number here, what the num means is that what the what that number will be referred to in this function. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna clear this for a second here. Clear. Okay, so again, this is what you this is what you want back. This is what you give it. And remember this whole thing here was a function prototype. which just says this is the kind of thing that you want to give it and the kind of thing you want back. So, and then here you write, you know, the same thing, what you want back, what you give it. And then but this number here is so if I give it a number, like if I just give an input number, then it will refer to that input as num. So it will refer to it as num. So then we're taking num, which is the input, and then we're taking num times num, which is the same as saying like if this was x, be x equals x squared. So if x equal two, then x equals x squared, which so two times two. And then I'm returning that number and bring it back. So let's go over what this program will do. So here's the live this is the libraries. You can just that tells the compiler what to do. I've had the function prototype. And now with int main, so I've declared two integers. I've I've said Here's an input integer and here's an output integer. And here, input equals 6. So the output will equal the input after Scott's function does something to it. And what Scott's function is going to do is going to take an input, is going to say that input equals the input times the input. So if the input was, was 2, then it's going to say 2 equals two times two. So then it doesn't equal two anymore, it equals four. So num in this case equals four. And then it's going to return four. So it's going to say the output equals the input after Scott's function does something to it. Whatever number it comes back with is going to be my output. 
and then printf is going to print what that output is. It's going to say the you know input squared is the output. So it's very simple, but basically I could say you know this this doesn't have to be called Scott's function. If I wanted, I could I could I could name this you know I like cats. It doesn't matter what the name is, just as long as I said I like cats here, I like cats here, and I like cats here. So you know it, it, it's sort of hard to wrap your head around, but basically all you're doing is saying function prototype, what you want back, what you're willing to give it. That just declares that it exists. You're telling the computer, like I said, again, hey, get ready, I'm about to tell you what the function will do. Just sort of like if I said int cat equals six. Actually, let's just say let's just say I said int cat. Then what does this do? Like, you know, I said int input here. I'm just telling the computer, like, hey, a variable named input exists. I haven't said what that input equals, all I said is that it exists. So that's like saying here the function exists. I haven't said what the function does. I haven't said what the function will do. I'm just saying hey it exists and right here I've said this is what the function will do. Just as I said here input equals this. But here you know if I said int cat I'm just saying an integer named cat exists and it will only know what it is after I go int cat equals six. Then, then all of a sudden the computer knows that this integer equals six. So again, so basically we'll just run this one more time. So function prototype, then you have your int main, and you can call it. So you just say output, this integer output equals the input after it's changed by Scott's function. So then the computer will go here. It will go output and then it'll go, let's let's perform these actions on input, and then output will equal this number and then it will print that number and that's it that that is what a user defined function is i could write i could write num equals num divided by 2 and then i wouldn't be squaring it i would just be dividing the input by 2 and i hope i hope that this makes it kind of clear